Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm out here digging today on a permission we've been to a number of times and uh, haven't been able to get down into this lower field where we have found some really great things. Um, the farmer likes to move his cows around and so we respect that and he doesn't like us to be where they are, so we have to wait. And sometimes it's worth waiting for. So here I am and uh, stay tuned and hopefully we get some good finds along the way. So far, the story has been square nails, as you can see, and some other junk. Um, we do believe there was a building here at one time. Not sure if it was a house or what exactly, but lots of square nails, and so that kind of tells the story. We have found some coppers here. Ace found a two real um, Spanish, and it was beautiful. 1747, I think it was. But uh, I just got a good good hit on my AT Max. Pop the plug and I don't know if you can see the rim right here but it's big and round so I do believe this is going to be a copper. Oh yeah for sure. For sure. Oh man it's tempting to clean it up. I kind of don't want to. Just let it dry and then take care of it but uh Gosh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to. I gotta see what it is. Gots to see. Oh, it's gonna take two hands. What is here on the back? What? That's gotta be, is it Britannia? Or is this something different? What is this? I can't tell. Plus I'm looking through my camera. All right, I'm gonna get it cleaned up. I'll be right back in with the uh, ID. It looks like it's gonna be pretty, whatever it is. So I'll be right back in. So I just posted a video today. Um, today happens to be the 6th of March. And I posted it because uh, I, I went on a hunt on March the 4th, which was my birthday, and really looking for a uh, awesome birthday gift. Had some good finds, but not exactly the gift I was hoping for. I didn't really know what that gift would be, you know, just something kind of awesome, you know, maybe a coin, although I did find some buttons and it was a good hunt, but I just got it awesome awesome gift this is the best birthday present check this out my first new jersey <laughs> state copper how awesome is that thing this is the first one that i've ever even seen none of the guys i don't think have ever dug one i don't know but uh, the date is barely down there at the bottom 1780 something which is, you know, where they're at, but man, oh, it's beautiful. My first New Jersey State Copper. What an incredible birthday present. I'm so thankful. Absolutely blessed man I am. Wonderful wife, wonderful children, and uh, this hobby, along with plenty of other hobbies that I have, and always very blessed in those hobbies. I'm just so very thankful to God that he watches over me the way he does because this, this is a gift. And it's beautiful. Oh, man. 1780-something. Awesome. Awesome. This is my first good find here of the day. So, <laughs> I hope it's not the curse, but I'll take it anyway. If this is all I come out of the field with, I am super excited i can't believe it it's so cool we well, just got another cool find um, i'm not exactly sure what it is it may just be you know what would have been like a spigot some kind of valve looks like maybe a kind of a key would have gone in there to turn uh i don't know maybe a keg tap i'm not sure it doesn't really look like a keg tap 
Uh, but you know, maybe this end was broke off. I don't know. But it's out in this field in the middle of nowhere. Uh, there's no running water out here. Um, so maybe it went to a barrel of some kind, not sure. But uh, a very excellent find. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited that New Jersey Copper's got me all kind of psyched up. <laughs> so, very cool. Oh, it's getting windy as all get out. Might see some rain. I don't know. Got a pretty good find here, an old buckle. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll take it. I will take it. This is a pretty place. Pretty, pretty place. Yeah. Well, keep going. This is gonna be a short one today too. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot to cover, but I'm gonna do what I can. So be right back with hopefully another good find. I just scored another great find. It is a thimble. Look at that. A little beat up, but uh, I'll take it. Thimbles are awesome to find. Very cool. Yeah, buddy. Man, this place is still giving up some good stuff. You know, the last time I was here was the second time and uh just no luck at all but i had my big coil thinking that i could find some stuff that was down deeper today i'm using a little six inch and uh i think it's working getting in between these square nails and other junk that's in the ground but yep awesome find right there all right got a halfway decent signal here and uh I, it's not a coin it could be a button, uh, you know, it could be just iron trash too. I don't know, but I wanted to show it to you so you could hear it and uh, see what this signal sounds like. I mean, it's right in that button range, mid fifties, mid sixties. Let's see what it is. It's a little bit windy to do a live dig, but why not, right? We can kind of discover what this is together. Some rocks down in there. Hopefully rocks. Not iron. All right. Let's get my detector here. in the plug <clears throat> not sure that's a rock and some dark soil right there be a button down in there. Oh, what is this? Well, it's not a button. I think it's just garbage. Man, oh man. Well, better luck next time. It's a good signal, and I haven't had too many of them. But, uh, oh well, you gotta go for them. Well, as you can see, I've been driven into my truck by the rain. I think there's a little bit of ice in there too. But uh, hopefully, it's gonna stop soon so I can get back out. Whew, I just sprinted to my truck. Luckily, I'm parked. 20 yards from where I've been digging so that was that was nice I didn't have to make a dash across the field or anything but stay tuned hopefully I get back out we'll we'll see we will see 
It seems like it's getting lighter. I don't know. But it just looks kind of nasty everywhere, too. Hard to say. Anyhow, hopefully I'll be back in and I'll be back out. <laughs> Got another pretty good signal. Not a coin. Um, it's kind of right in that button range. So I'm going to dig it up. It's a little iffy, but we'll see what it is. I'll be right back in. Well, I don't know what it is. Just no clue. It might be modern junk. I'm just not sure. But, uh, I don't know. We'll keep going anyway. It might, it looks like it kind of has a silver wash on it. <laughs> For all I know, it's aluminum. But, uh, didn't ring up like that. Not sure. Oh, well. Keep going here. I'd really like to find a shoe buckle frame. It should be out here, somewhere. Somewhere there's one. Well, another pretty good signal. Definitely button range again. Um, still in the plug. I don't know, it seems big. Is this it right here? Ah. Well, it's some kind of another uh, keg tapper. something but yeah it's almost exactly like the last piece i found thought for sure that was going to be button well you know still cool not sure the age of something like this but uh yeah i'll take it here's always a good sign oyster shell I mean, I already know I'm in a good spot here, but, uh, you know, if you're ever out digging and you come across an oyster shell that really doesn't belong where you're digging, slow down and start looking for those good signals because they'll be coming. Oyster shells are always a good sign because it means that there's a old site nearby. I have dug so many button signals. And they haven't been buttons until now, I think. Golly, it's got to be a button. No, no, it's not. It's a stinking shotgun shell. Dang on it. <laughs> you filthy, filthy beast. Dang, man, it really looked like a button laying in there, too. All greened up. Jeepers, creepers. There's got to be a button laying in here. There's just got to be. Well, this time, I think I do have what would be a keg or barrel tap. I'm pretty sure, not totally sure, but the ones that I have seen before look like this. Of course, this one's broke. But uh, that's pretty cool, and uh, it's the first good find in a while. I have been uh, really gridding off, and I just kind of decided, you know what, I'm going to take a walk. And uh, glad I did, because this is my first, I, don't know, I guess I can't say really my first, but um, but it's a definite keg tap, at least of the ones I've seen before. Although I haven't seen any that have these holes in them. And that's kind of cool. And they're all not perfect, so that's hand drilled. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm actually getting ready to go out and do some digging right now. And uh, as I was editing the video this morning, it really dawned on me just um, what we're going through in this country. You know, the, uh, the New Jersey copper was such a special thing, but it kind of got me thinking about New Jersey and Connecticut and New York and some of the other cities around our country and really the places around the world that are being affected by this COVID-19 virus. Make sure you're checking up on your digging buddies, whether they're local or they're around the world. Make sure they're doing all right and uh, make sure you're keeping in prayer some of our nurses and doctors, first responders, all of the people that are the essential people out there. Um, Man, keep them in your prayers and just uh, pray that God keeps a special hand of protection over each one of them 
as we deal with this thing together. Um, and if you can get out there and dig, but be careful, keep your distance, and uh, we'll get through this. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye.